as with the answer to most questions like this, the answer is it depends. Now, what it depends on is the type of role that you get into when you become a data analyst. Now, I can't speak too much on other roles, but at least in my role as a data analyst, I'm using coding basically on a daily basis. Even if it's not the type of coding that you really think of when you think of coding, like developing your own algorithms and stuff, I'm still using R to perform a lot of my daily function as a data analyst. One of those functions is to build a large dashboard that I use R Shiny for. So a lot of code goes behind that. Any of the data analytics that happen within that tool is also done within R. Plus, anytime I'm asked to perform an ad hoc analysis, I still use R to perform that ad hoc analysis, even if the final result of the data ends up in Tableau or if it ends up in an Excel sheet, all of the work behind the scenes was done in R. Now, speaking from the point of view of my, some of my coworkers, a lot of them use SAS to perform all of their data analytics, and oftentimes they're doing the same thing I'm doing in R, they're just doing it in SAS. So SAS itself is still a coding language, so you're going to be using some coding regardless. Others yet still use Python and other tools to perform their data analytics, but I'd have to say 90% of the time it's some kind of coding platform, whether it be R, Python, or SAS. Now, of course, the other percent of the time we're using things like Tableau and Excel to display information in an easy to digest way for stakeholders and other people around the business. But even the coding tools that we use like R and Python still have their own visualization capabilities. So sometimes we're even still using R or Python to do those. So hopefully that helps you out and watch this video next to learn more about what a data analyst does.